So well, I'm just going to go over some of the main principles on the ellipse and curve. So to start off, we want to draw a, an ellipse given a major axis of 120 and a minor axis of 70. So for this, what we do is we draw a line in the middle of the page. We'd say the major axis is going, it's going horizontal here. So this is going to be 120. So we draw two lines here, and then just like it. So if the major axis is 120, we're going to set a compass to half that, radius of 60. If the minor axis is 70, we're going to set a compass to half that, 25. So we're going to put on the middle point, center point here. So if this is 60, and they say 60, everything is, is millimeters. And they should be drawn very light. You shouldn't be putting much pressure on this. So this is 60, which is, that's the major axis we have to there. The minor axis is 35. It's going in this direction. So for this question, we'll say that the major axis is going from here to here, and the minor axis is going from this point to this point. So I'm going to put them in heavy, usually with the light, unless you're restful. So that's the major axis, and this is the minor axis coming down. So what like, this gives us is four points on the ellipse, here, here, there, and there. By concentric circles, concentric circles method, concentric circle means two circles that are the same center point, we divide it up into 12. We use our torque degree set square and bring it to the center because torque goes into 360 12 times. And we just turn it around like this. So, from this, then what we want to do is where it meets the major axis, we want to bring it down. Bring all these down. Where it meets the minor axis, we bring it up. The major axis here, we bring it up to the bottom. So the bottom is the opposite. So we'll make the major, we bring it down, all these are coming straight down. And where that meets the minor, we just going to it up. So where the line that you divide it meets the minor, we bring this out. So that gives us 12 points out. Points out along the cross like this down here. And with the with the ellipse, we try to get a nice even curve. So you don't want it, you don't want these points flat. Like what you don't want is you don't want it going like and like that. That's be a nice smooth curve. So it helps for some people to turn the board if they want to do that. So a nice curve like that and the same on the bottom. If you find a hard trend draw, it does, it's not natural to sort of bring the round like this. So if you can just sometimes you might have to just turn, turn the board. And it's like this. We do the same across and the other points. So that's the first one done, which is a, an ellipse given the major minor axis. The second one I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an ellipse given the focal points and the major axis. So we'll just say the this is the major axis and your focal points out. That's one focal and this is another focal. Here. You'll be given the measurements for these in the question. You'll be told exactly about where you bring it. But for this question, I've just put them in a certain point. So we know the minor axis must be in the middle here somewhere. So find in the middle, we will bisect the major axis. Such a constant ending over halfway is. Swing it in here and swing it in like this. So this is just telling us where it is. It's not telling us the length out. So we know that it's going to be here somewhere. So what we normally do to get focal points is we have half the major. We put on top of the minor and we swing down. So you find your focal points. So half the major, put on top of the minor and swing down. So the first one, that'll be the focal point and that'll be the focal point. So for this, we do it the opposite way around. We start the same way, half the major. We can put it on top of, of the minor because we don't have the minor, but we can put it on the focal point. And where else meets? 
here. That point is the top. That point is the top of the of the minor axis, which means I can now get my compass set me up here and draw on my small circle, or minor circle as it's called properly, and draw on the major circle. And once I have those, I can do the same step as before. So just to recap on that one, have the major here. Put it on the focal, your focal. If I put it on this one, I'd get the same point, or I should get the same point. So half the major, put it on the focal, swing to what meets your center line. Yeah. So that's that one. The next one I'm going to do is I'll just bring up the graph of the ellipse here and we'll do a tangent. We'll do tangent to it. Put it in. I put in light first. I put in a few a few curves. So and then I tend to go with whichever one I think looks right. So I'm going to go to the top half of this. So they'll tell you what a point is that the tangent is going to it. So a tangent. Point on the curve. Point P. Point P is on the curve. So what you do is you find the focal points, which you've already done. You join F1 through it, and you join F2 through it, and extend them out. And this is what gets a small bit tricky. You get your compass. You set it to anything; it doesn't matter. You put your compass on the center point, and you swing it between these two blue lines. You could do it on the other side as well, it doesn't matter. Just swing it here. Then I put the compass where the, this line meets the blue line. I put it here and I swing it out. And I put it on this point and swing it. And where these meet, X marks the spot. So that goes back to this point. And that's a tangent to it. If you wanted to get a thing called a normal, a normal would be at 90 degrees to this. So you could just come up at 90 degrees to this if you wanted to, or you could bisect. I could bisect the angle. So bisect the angle, do the same thing. Set it to anything. Swing an arc. Swing an arc. So that there is called a normal. So a normal is 90 degrees to a tangent.